Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, we're going to have a look at AC Next, which is actually your AI powered assistant for the Azure CLI. So stay tuned. If you're an Azure CLI user to actually deploy and manage your Azure resources, sometimes um, you need to know a lot of commands and you need to know which parameters you need to add to your command and which are the following commands. Or even like if you do a sequence of commands, like you need to first create, for example, a resource group, and then you need to create whatever resource you want to deploy. And then after that, you probably need to add something to it. And again, we have great documentation on that, but wouldn't it be great if the Azure CLI would have a little assistant built in, uh, which already recommends you what could be the next command and how do you need to set it up and guide you through it. So that is actually what we're going to have a look at today. And I want to show you how you can work with that with the AC next command. So to get started with AC Next, we basically just have our common shell opener already installed the latest version uh, of the Azure CLI. So you can have a look at uh, here. So I'm running currently version 2.21, uh, which basically gives me the ACV Next feature in preview if I want to do that. So if I want to go and start with AC uh, Next, I just type AC Next. And now what happens is it recognizes that this extension of the Azure CLI is not installed. And if I want to install that. So in this case, I absolutely want to do that. And this will now take a moment uh, to basically go out and download that extension for the Azure CLI and install that. You can also see that currently while I'm doing recording this video, uh, this is an experimental feature. Um, so we will see, um, like whenever you watch that video, you might already be in production, um, of that different features. So it could look a little bit different for you whenever you watch that video. So now you can already see that, um, the Azure CLI now already gives me one of these, uh, recommendations here. And currently, because I don't want to use it right now, it doesn't make much sense. So I just press zero to actually not go with one of these predictions. Right. So let me clean the screen here. I now have like installed that specific Azure CLI extension and I can now start using it. So now we have AC next available for in our shell in our Azure CLI. So let's create, for example, a web app. And this is usually a, a sequence of different commands. So first I need to create the app service plan and then create the actual web app. And now let's see how AC next can actually help us there to make the whole thing a little bit easier. So I know that I need to create the app service plan. So let's do that. Let's say app service, oops, service plan, create, and then give it a name, let's say Tom SIP. And then my resource group, I want to actually deploy that. So I'm going to create that app service plan. And this takes a couple of seconds to complete. So now we created that app service plan. So what I can do next, I could now go out and find obviously the documentation because I can't really remember like the command for creating the web app or so on. So simply I just type AC next. And AC next will provide me with what I would do next. So it sees there's a couple of options I have. So basically the first one is actually the one thing I would do. I want to create a web app. So let's just hit one here. And now it gives me the command which I need to run. So it shows me the AC web app create and then a couple of parameters I need to fill. So in this case, I will need to like give, uh, provide a name to the web app. So let's say Tom's web app and then if i hit enter i will also need the the plan so what i just entered i think was tom asp so that's the service the the this the app service plan i just created and then i want to obviously use the resource group 
And then if I would do a container-based deployment, I could enter also the, the container image here, but I don't have that one. So I can run this. And then this will now run all the commands uh, I need without me remembering the whole command for the AC web app create command and how it works. Uh, and again, also like helped me already finding out that I even need to run this as an act step, right? So this is super helpful. It now in the backend creates my web application in the app service plan. And now you can see it's done and the command is completed. So this is how easy it actually is and how AC Next can help you, especially when you have a sequence of commands. It basically takes out, like takes the AI, takes the knowledge we have from our documentation, as well as how people are using the AC, com, uh, AC Azure CLI and actually gives, like provides you with really helpful uh, information there. There are also some additional customization steps to you can actually configure it in the way you want to have like AC Next working for you. Um, again, we have all the links for this in the description below. You will find the description in the blog post. Now keep in mind again, this feature is currently while I'm recording that video is in preview and under development. So things may be changing. Make sure you check out our documentation and I hope uh, this video was helpful so you know understand how you can get your smart AI assistant within the Azure CLI and if you like that video please subscribe like and see you in the next video